So we're interested in two things. One is the um, biophysical principles um, that makes biology work. Okay? And the other thing is that we're very excited about the things that we build, the biomedical applications of these devices. Um, so as I said, we are interested in sensing and interfacing electronics with biologic systems. In terms of sensing, we want to build the most sensitive and specific sensors uh, as a uniform, uh, as a uh, universal platform uh, for different biomolecules. And the electronic part is then these molecules are not just, um, you know, um, reacting by themselves. There's a, a very complicated network. Uh, the bioreactions are connected. Uh, one signals the other, and there are feedbacks. So uh, most people are using drugs or chemicals to tune these networks. Like you, eat, you know, you take some drugs, and that changes the concentration of things and changes how the cell works. And we're interested to ask, okay, if there is a electronic way that we can um, talk to the cells, modulate the cells, and hopefully reprogram the cells. That would be more convenient than taking drugs. So these are the two things we want to build. Okay. Um, and so what is uh, some of the equipment that you work with here in the lab? Um, we work in, uh, there are two main things that happens in this, in this lab. First of all, we, we build different devices. And that happens outside the lab. And there's a nanofab course facility here in ASU. We use a lot of those to build chips and different uh, devices. There are also 3D printers and CNC machines in the lab that we try to build prototype devices. So there's a lot of engineering happening there. On the other hand, then we have microscopes and electronics on that side. We try to uh, use the sensors uh, to detect different biomolecules, as well as to see how electric field or a different signal was sent to the cells work. Um, we image the cells, see how they respond as we change the way we interface with them. So that's happening on the settings. When we try to understand what's going on in a biologic system, um, the machinery of a cell works um, starting from a DNA. Right? That's basically telling you the code for a biologic system. That's what can happen. Okay? That's called the genomics. And then from DNA, um, there are things that's actually happening. And the DNA has to be translated into proteins. So this is um, the job of RNA, and this is the to protein. This is called trans uh, transcriptomics and the proteomics. That's what's happening right there. And then as things happen, uh, the me metabolic process then generates certain molecules that tells you, are things happening at the right rate? These are the metabolites. These are called the metabolomics. So there's a lot of omics in there, and this is involved in different biomolecules. And our interest is to sense these molecules. And conventionally, this has to be done across many different ways. And the majority of them involves either sequencing, this is specific for genomics, or things being translated to sequencing methods. So you use that to detect other things or you have to use mass spectroscopy. Basically, you're weighing those molecules and then try to detect the structure. Our ultimate goal is to build the chips like this, where this can be a single platform that can be used to detect all of these molecules, sequencing them, sensing specific molecules in there. So we call this multi-omic detection platform. And here in this device, um, we're using quantum physics to detect biology. This is my favorite, two favorite topics, bringing one place in one place. We've shown that um, we can actually manipulate a single molecule and make them to pass through a certain set of electrodes where we can evaluate the conductivity of the molecule, we can detect its size, its charge, and its conductivity, as well as having optical access to that molecule, and then we can detect its structure. So this is a single platform combining three things in one place. And working on, we're working on now to make you know, thousands or hundreds of thousands of devices in one single chip. Now this gives us the ultimate detection limit of a single molecule and also enables us to multiplex that detection so we can go through a real sample with enough flux or throughput. 
So this is our dream. So we would like to make this platform um, adapted to detect many different kinds of molecules so we can solve the multi-omic problem in biosensors. Uh, since a kid, I, I'm always very interested in you know, building hands-on stuff, like going to Home Depot with my dad. So, so um, growing up, I just kind of want to make something. And uh, this lab uh, very uniquely combines um, making chips and, um, uh, and um, biophysics. So we're making bioelectronics, and that's something um, very exciting for me to build, uh, build the um, electronics from from the start, yeah. Watching, uh, trying to actually measure quantum tunneling current, it's a very interesting thing for me. Like apart from learning every equipment that we work with, like for characterization, for fabrication, it's already seeing the principles or the theory that we read in physics to actually happening. And uh, the most important thing that I work with is a quantum tunneling uh, current measurement. It's a uh, it's an amazing thing to actually see it's working like that. Yeah, and we're actually building it.